In this tutorial I will show you how to fold this origami model. It's a design that I haven't named, so any suggestions for naming will be very welcome. I think it's a fun model, um, I don't really know what it is presenting, but it looks really nice I think. So we are going to start by making um, a couple of different units. One of the units will look like this and the other one will look like this. So to make both of those units you are eventually going to divide them into fifths. So to divide into fifths I am going to uh, make a folding tool that you can use. And now I am going to show you how to fold the folding tool. So just start off by folding it in half. And then unfold. Or, and then make a fold connecting um, these two points. and then fold up so that it touches and just pull out and then crease all your way and this is actually one fifth of the paper so I'm now, go now going to show you how to fold this unit so to make this unit you're going to uh, Use one sheet of paper and you're going to slide it inside of the folding tool and then fold edge to edge aligning it nicely and crease and now divide it into fists Now divide it into fourths in the other direction. And you should have this. Now we are going to make some creases that are not going to um, be so strong because they are only going to be reference creases. So we will now make a crease that goes um, from here, just at crease here. So just make sure the fourth are how is vertical and fold it up here until you reach this point of intersection and then just make sure it aligns nicely and then not make a strong piece but just a reference. So your reference will go like this here and we are going to do that 
hier, hier und hier. Two. And then you should have all of these reference creases. Now we are going to use them by reversing this crease. One of this crease. And now you can see the crease, reference creases we made are valley fold. And we are going to take this and align it along the angle bisector. Of the, and then crease. But we do not want to crease all the way. We just want to crease so that the crease will go up until it hits, hits here. Oh no, sorry, it was actually supposed to be in this direction. Until it hits here. And then do the same thing on the other side. And then connecting these two points, we are going to make a crease. So you should eventually have this. And we're going to do that on the other side. And then connecting the folds. So you should have these creases here. I've actually discovered that this is one third. I don't know why, <laughs> but it is. Okay. And 
And now we are going to make a fold. That starts like this. And not a fold, just reference. And on the other side as well. Now just fold it in half. And you should see these diagonal reference creases. Because we are going to take it, the edge, and fold it up to that crease. Making a crease until it hits this point. So that the crease should not go farther than this vertical crease. Do that in the opposite direction as well. And now connect these two points with a crease that will be right here. So that you, you should have this. And now fold up along the crease that you just made. Making it end at the same point. And do the same thing here. And lastly, fold up again here. You can now open it up and you can see this crease pattern. The outer creases we just made, they are all going to be mountain folds. So you're just going to pinch them into mountain folds. And the inner creases are going to be valley folds. So pinch them. And now when you turn it around, all the creases should have the right orientation. And as a last thing, before we start to collapse the unit, you're going to turn it like this, so that the fifths are vertical. Now that just take the edge and fold it in, so that it touches this crease here. this crease and let it touch and then just pinch in the sides and after that fold it in again pinch and the last time now we're going to fold all the way just fold it in, make sure it aligns with the pinches that you just made, and crease all the way. We are going to do that in the opposite direction as well. Just the same again.
now we can start to collapse our unit. We are going to reinforce the fifth into mountain folds on the green side. And then just push everything together. And then just stick one of them, them into the pocket of the other one. And you should have this, which is your completed unit. You'll need nine of these, and I'd recommend that you um, use three of one color and six of another color to give the ring um, a nice um, dew effect. Now I'm going to show you how to fold this unit. For these, you are only going to need three. And these are the way simplest to fold so you're just going to take a color a sheet of a third color and then just slide it inside and divide it into fifth with the white side up. And once it has been divided into fifth, we are going to fold it in half and pinch on both sides. Pinch here, just a small pinch, and here. And then again, fold it in to the pinches you just made, and make pinches. And now fold it in one last time and this time we are going to crease all the way. Reinforce everything. And tuck one of the them into the other, both ends. And you should have this. So, this is, um, you'll need three of these, and I'd recommend you do it in a third color. For the assembly, we are going to start up with three of our units. 
One of them is going to be in light green and the other one in forest green. And we're going to insert the light green into the forest green one. And this can be a bit tricky. You're actually going to take, like pinch together the forest greens one a bit. And this is not a bad thing because it's not going to be visible on the finch model. And this can be a bit hard, but just try to get it inside. And so on, once it's inside, you're just going to push, push. And this may require some time. But you can take an object or something and just try to get it neat. So that you can get it inside the other one. And they are now completely connected. So now just take your third unit and try to insert it the same way. So just pinch it together just a bit. And maybe try to get in with something. taken and try to get it inside the light greens or lime greens one And this should be your finished result. Now we're going to take this unit and we're going to place it here by pinching it together a bit on the forest green one. And try to put it inside. Oops, demonstrating. <laughs> Having a bit of problems. Mm -hmm. 
And just remember this rule. You are always going to have uh, the green ones centered and they are going to point inside of the center of the model. The lime green ones are always going to go into the forest green ones and the red ones are always going to go into the forest green ones. And just repeat this all the way around until you have completed your model.